Good evening team. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day and I hope you are relaxed and enjoying your morning, your evening, whatever time it is that you are in. Last time we defeated the Abyss Watchers and today it's time to go to the Carthus Catacombs. Normally, at this time, those of you who did not the Deacons of the Deep, who did not go through the Deacons of the Deep, this will be the perfect time to do so. Oh, and a little anecdote, uh, a little trivia thing. Um, on my old PC, I had, I had an old rugged PC that barely ran Dark Souls 3. Whenever I came through this bonfire, and to the Carthus Catacombs, if I started by running, the world here would not be rendered. So as soon as I step through this, I will fall through the map and die. And that was uh, that was uh, really uh, unnecessary to be honest, but it was funny. Carthus, Carthus, Carthus. Hmm. Now, without a doubt, Carthus Catacombs reminds me a lot of Dark, not Dark Souls, of course it's Dark Souls, but reminds me a lot of Diablo, really. And being a big fan, I always imagine, you know, it's like I always hear the Diablo music as I go through the Diablo catacombs, uh, the Carthus catacombs. But to be honest, uh, any dungeon crawler, really. Ow, oh, that was, uh, that was, that was something, buddy. Oh yes, I forgot. Yeah, the delayed attack is uh, something else. Now, oh, I wanted to backstab you. And while we are being on the subject of Diablo, the next season is going to start on the 23rd of this month, which is really interesting, and I'm looking forward to it. I always play any season that Diablo brought me, and this will not be an exception. As I sneeze, sorry about that. Uh, don't worry, I'll be editing these things out. So, if you hear some prolonged silence, understand that I was either sneezing or clearing my throat. So, right as we arrive at this point, we get two things. One, the beautiful view. And two, kind of uh, where we are heading. Gives us an idea of the layout of... Uh, where we are heading. We can already see two skeletons. There's an archer right over there. There's a crystal lizard. An item behind that column. And an item right over there. And as we look this way, there's a branch. Like we can probably drop down here. Now, believe it or not, as a gamer, you always drop down here. But on my first playthrough, I was like, I'm gonna go straight forward. Dark Souls probably expect me to drop down here. So I went straight forward and then I came down here. I believe coming down here is much better. As it all revolves around the same place, really. But coming down here is gonna give me some... Some loot. Uh, sit down. There you go. It's probably gonna go back up. There you go. Unless you have a blessed or a divine weapon, I think blessed works too. Um, they will be most likely getting up. And this is the Carthus Pyromancy Tome. 
Now the Carthus the Carthus Pyromancy to Tome is really important because it gives me the fire enchantment. And the fire enchantment is really good. And really works great. In any build generally, it's uh doesn't require that much and it's just good. Now there's gonna be two of these fellas. These fellas are a bit tough, so I need to be extra careful. Let me wake him up. Nope. He's got sort of uh, the Bloodborne dash. And I really loved if I could have a build similar to his. Where I can dash that way and throw knives that way but sadly that doesn't exist so far before we go that way which is uh, the way forward let me first go this way and this way that's gonna be another item and a stair which will lead us to there's going to be Henri here somewhere. I would love to meet... No, it's not her. It's funny, I can see it clearly now, this button right here. But the first time I played through this, I was so... worried about stuff that I did not see this one, and I ended up pressing on it. <laughs> Goodbye. It's weird that the first one did not get you first. But here we go. Fire arrow. Sorry for sorry about the burping and all those uh, nasty voice things I do. You know how it is when you have an allergy. I'm sure you guys understand the feeling. Goodbye. I still need a lot more endurance. I feel like my stamina is depleting a lot faster than it should be. Oh, I can hit him with this one. <laughs> yeah, this guy seems harmless, but really, they do have a parry attack, so you be careful. I would like you to give me back a small amount of HP first. Discerns can be deceiving. And that's a soul. I can drop down from here. Or I can drop down from here. But really, I'm not going to do so. There's a stair here. I will be circling back. Hmm, where did this fellas come from? I was here, as you can see, I dropped down. I think they have a long patrol pattern. That's why I did not see them the first time. And nevertheless, I would be going back there. Or I'll just ignore them completely. I always miss um, where's Henri's location for some reason. These catacombs can be challenging thing to have but she's around here i know she's around here and i'll find her sooner or later in order to advance in her quest we are there's the stairs that i was at oh not really this is the other region oh that was nasty Wanna backstab you? Not really. What do you give us? Titanite shard, ember, and Carthus Rouge. Carthus Rouge adds bleeding effects to weapons, so it's good. 
it's a good one and it works great with the hollow build titanite chart now this is the main we were up there in that bridge and this was the bridge that we were looking at and we will go there but not for now certain there's gonna be a secret passage through one of these we just can't remember it that's all not this one where did we where did we come from like I said it's super easy to get lost in these places. lots of titanite shards it's kind of a hint from the developers to us up Upgrade your weapon, or you're gonna have a bad day. Scimitars are good, the bots, I'm not gonna play with the scimitar. This should be the way to Henri, and there she is, I told you, she's right around here somewhere. So, what do you got for us? As you can see, she's a bit distressed. And for good reason. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? Not to yet. Shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. That's a bugger. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself. No question. He's probably searching for me right now with twice the resolve. Oh. I doubt that. If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs and will lay prism stones to guide him, as always. As always. My word. May the flames guide your way. If you happen upon that, I please may. Always fascinated by the fact that all the items we have, everything, the weapons, items, armor, is used and it's part of the lore of the game. Like, you think these are just player items? No, she also has prism stones and she uses them the same as we do. Uh, this guy doesn't matter if he falls to his death because he will still give us his loot. Which is kind of dumb, to be honest. But I don't know. I don't know why did they do that. Nevertheless. We got Twinkling Titanite, and that means we probably should be able to upgrade this weapon a bit farther. Now, we will meet her a bit later. She will be advancing as we load up or sit on a bonfire. So, we'll find her. Horace, unfortunately, is gonna have a tragic ending. I think he already had a tragic ending, and we will just... Uh, do him the honors of helping him. Oh yes, that's exactly what you think that is. It's a big ball of death. Now the first playthrough, I did not know that this was the guy that was responsible for moving it and if i follow him he will, of course he will lead me to traps be careful that guy is going to do a psycho crusher psycho crusher <laughs> ow i wonder What's uh, summoning these thing? Oh yes, it's probably that uh, this guy right here who's throwing urns at me. Stop it! Get some help. <laughs> uh, problematic thing is that I am going. I'm going through these things really fast through my healing, which is not good. The 
That's one. That's two. I think if he gives me his swords, he's not going to be going back up. Now the mage is uh, right here, right there somewhere. Some of these urns is going to spawn the same kind of attacks. It's kind of crucial to kill these guys as you see them, because once you do, that ball is going to cease moving. And this particular ball is pretty important because it gives us an undead bone shard. A really needed item in our journey. So yeah. Kind of an interesting area, like I said. Uh, I like it, it's uh, not that bad. But it's kind of a tough one. Ow. And this is... The Carthus Milk Ring, one of the rings that I used a lot, honestly. And this ring does slightly boosts dexterity and obscures rolling. A good ring. So, you know what, at this point, I can probably wear one of these. Either the Wolf Ring increases poise, or this one. This one basically gives us a bit more damage, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. Makes our dodging. Which is kind of a PvP thing, really. A bit obscured, like you see. Making it hard for others to see us. Now, let's just make certain I did not lose or forget about anything. So, I did not. And we will move on. As you can see, if you can't see him, there will be problematic stuff. Which could be used to your advantage for this particular situation, really. Be careful in this real area, because there's a lot of these fellas, and if they gang up on you, it's not gonna be looking pretty. Goodbye. You gonna go back up? No? Oh yes, I know you are. Or not, am I right? Good for me. I keep pressing that. Second dude. Goodbye. Now I do remember there's two here. This guy is not going back up. That guy too. There you go. The two patrolling fellas. Now there's two options. Either I aggro one of them only, like so, and fight them one by one, or I just skip them entirely and go to the bonfire, which is not that far away. Goodbye. Titanite chard. Great. Second one. Stop doing Street Fighter things. <laughs> Goodbye. Titanite shard. This should be broken, but there's a way to go there. There's definitely a way to go there, and I will be there. Momentarily. Probably in the next episode, really. But yeah, it's not that problematic to reach that place. This is a drop down. I can go down there. It's not a big deal. But since I do not have that much HP or that much healing stuff, I'm not going to do that. Doesn't matter. You can't really damage this ball. All you have to do is find the mage, which is a bit down there, and kill it. And there you go. Bone fire or the barn fire. Rest, of course, always rest. We are at the catacombs of Carthus, like I said. 
Hmm. Now, if I'm doing like, a, if I'm speeding through this, we're really at 80% of this map. Like, we can just do one or two things and advance to Irithyll. But there are many things I need to do. There are many things in this map to do. So we'll try to do as much as we can. The first thing to do is to go through here. There's the stairs. Good enough. Item. Another Titanite shard. They want to make certain we have leveled up weapons to deal with this place. Damn, my attack was too slow. These guys always drop some drop some Kukuri and some Titanite shards, which is good for us. Oh, hello, big rat. Goodbye, big rat. It was nice to make your acquaintance. Scissor. Oh, really? You clipped through. Okay. You're still gonna give me your things. So it matters not to me. <laughs> this guy's sword is a bit... Uh, problematic but if you come here you say you see this developer message suspended bridge is wearing thing meaning this bridge under the correct circumstances is gonna fall down which is both an advantage and a problem for you if it if you are on the middle of it and it falls down on you well things are not gonna look good for me like they did right now. I don't know how I did aggro this guy. I was talking, buddy. Give me a chance to speak before going ham on me. But yeah, I wasn't even holding the buttons. <laughs> ah, yeah, I was I was scratching my head and talking, explaining the situation. And this guy's like, nope, you can't have it. No problem. Wait for the ball to go back up, because if you go now, you're gonna be losing a ton of HP. And there you go. As I clip through invisible walls, I wanted to go through that area first, which I still do, in order to show stuff. Stop dodging like a maniac. It's futile. There we go. Ooh, I still need a ton of stamina. This is invisible wall because it will take you through here. I'll be back. I will be back to you. Don't worry. Unless you follow me here, I will be back to you. Do not worry the slightest. As usual, let me amber up. There we go. Now I'm not going to be taking this guy easy. He will have to die. No matter what. Sneak up on him first. Take my souls. Stab him. And then we will have a lovely discussion. No. No stab? Alright. It doesn't matter. Now, if you are curious enough, you stab him and you stand in his uh, position like this. You kill him and you stand here and you start exploring. So first we got the bridge. This is the direct way to the Carthus boss. And there's an alternative way, which is goes all up and around. Up in the distance, you see a familiar face. Now that's Henri. That's where she is right now. Um, if you look closely, you notice that there is a cave. There is an entrance. Interesting, isn't it? And if you look down there, you'll realize that this is not just your average raven or ravine. It means that I can probably go down there. 
And yes, you can get down there. Being inquisitive in this game is much rewarding. You can see things that you are not supposed to see if you just go blindly through the area. Like, we came through here, didn't we? But would you look at this? Right here, there's this place that will give us access to this lever that will give us a shorter access to the area. The bonfire is right up there through that second door over there. And it means that we can easily access this point. Let me take the large swords of the uh, undead and this. Right now there's going to be just one or two skeletons, but as I try to cross the bridge, there's going to be like, I don't know, 30, 40 skeletons spawning from this place. That's why you can see a lot of bones. Before we do go through that place, and I still do not have any clue why on earth are NPC invasions not happening. I have, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not doing anything really wrong, but there should be NPC spawnings right there. And they're not happening. So I'm curious. Oh yes, uh, there's gonna be slime here, so get ready. There's another one, all right, over there. There's another one there and another one there. And right here we find a reminiscent enemy from Dark Souls 1 and an enemy that we, or any of you who read the Berserk manga or saw the old anime, is probably familiar with these guys. They're on a nod to that particular anime. Actually, Dark Souls in general has many, many easter eggs relating to Berserker. Which is uh, nice, to be honest. It's a good thing. Now these were, or these used to be a nightmare in Dark Souls 1. I don't know in the remaster, is it gonna be a nightmare or not? I guess this, uh, but yeah. If you aggro more than one, your chances of survival are gonna be super thin because of the particular attack that they are doing right now. How? Die, thank you. Have a nice day. So you were expected to be really careful around these guys. But in Dark Souls 3, they are nerfed to the ground. Like, you saw that guy should have been killing or destroying me, but he didn't do so. You again. Ah, oh, damn. I'm out. Hey, let me kill you all at the same time. It's no problem for me. There you go. Once I get the Pontiff right eye, uh, my attacks will be also restoring my FP, which is really good. It means that I will be using more abilities and more blue related or FP related stuff. Again, remember there's a ton of these buggers right here. So be ready. Carthus ring. And you know what? I'm not gonna be bothering with you. Don't have fire attacks and you guys take a ton of damage. Without fire attacks, you... Oh, wait a second. I do have fire attacks. I do indeed. There you go. Nice. There 
There you go. Deal a ton of damage with the katana. I'm always a katana guy, to be honest. Uh, any build with a katana in it, you will find me playing it in Dark Souls. So yeah, I'm trying to experience other builds, like the one I'm using right now, but overall, usually, I stick with the katanas. I'm more of a dexterity, like I said, and using dexterity-based weapons, like katanas, is ideal for me. The dude controlling this ball is up there somewhere. Ah, oh, there he is. I think I can reach him with ranged attacks, if I was a mage, for example. But, nevertheless, I'm not a mage. So yeah, this should conclude our episode for today. Uh, took care of the enemies right there, so all we need to do is go through this stairs right here, and then go confront. Go confront the boss, or I think I will first go confront the boss, and then I will go down there to the demon catacombs. Uh, it's one of my least favorite areas. I don't like the demon catacombs, so. I either skip it entirely, or do it off camera, or something, I don't know, I really hate that place. I'll go there, I, anyway, I will go there, it doesn't matter. But for now, this has been Yagami, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's been a pleasure having you, and I will see you fellas in the next episode. So until then, bye bye.